All right, I'm at the secret laboratory again, and today we're going to make a lot of bromine because we need it for the synthesis that I'm going to attempt as well. If uh, I release this video before that, I'm going to censor that. But yeah, that's, so far we have put up some stuff and now we just have to put all of this together. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to basically set up a distillation and we're going to react TCCA, so pool chlorine, like this stuff right here, um, with hydrochloric acid. This will free up some chlorine and this will react with sodium bromide and we have the sodium bromide solution already in solution basically <laughs> and we're going to basically put all of this inside here and heat this up and this will basically make a lot of bromine i hope i explained this well we're kind of in a time crunch but yeah let's get this started ah yes and that's our sodium thiosulfate solution in case anything goes wrong also we have the uh, thing if the bromine spills it will spill in here and not get everywhere and yeah we will die okay so first we're going to put in the sodium bromide solution okay the Sodium bromide solution is in. Next, we're going to need to uh, put the TCCA in there somehow. Oh, yes. All right, now we're going to add the hydrochloric acid and this will increase the bromine production quite a bit. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, that's, that's not good. So we're cooling this down with some ice. Put some water in there. Hopefully this will then be a bit more tame. And we need to add the hydrochloric acid more slowly. Whew, all right, we're um, letting it cool down a little bit, but yeah, this was very scary. Uh, yeah, we added the hydrochloric acid too fast and yeah, it got hot, made a lot of bromine and basically boiled over. So let's wait for it to cool down and then we add the rest of the hydrochloric acid and then start heating it up again to distill over the bromine. All right, slowly adding the rest of the hydrochloric acid. All right, we uh, swapped the hot, hot plate for a heating mantle. The hot plate was just for stirring because the stirring is not very strong on this one and better on the hot plate. And this one is actually for heating now. And now we're going to basically set up a distillation and distill over the bromine. All right, 
We put the receiving flask under our ice and now we're going to turn up the heat to start distilling it over. All right, this is the uh, flask that we are going to store the bromine in once it's done and we will uh, decrease the neck size a little bit. So um, yeah. Heck yeah, that's what we need, an oxygen burner because this glass is like way too thick for that. All right, so there's now less bromine coming over and it actually bumped a lot. So we stopped the distillation and now we're going to take it apart. We're gonna seal the ampule or the container now. Hopefully this works. We're neutralizing the rest of the stuff now. All right, we expect a yield of uh, 387 grams. And let's see how much we got now. How, how much is the flask? Uh -huh. All right, so the flask is uh, uh, 112 grams. So we have now 338 grams of bromine. All right, this concludes uh, this video. We still have to clean up the bromine, but we will do this when we actually want to use it. So uh, that's gonna be in that future video. But until then, subscribe, I guess, to see that. And until next time.